All right, so let's talk about um, how we are uh, going to use an AED. And uh, we're gonna use this Red Cross video because I think it shows it pretty well. Uh, I want you to cross over into thinking not just about the AED, but also about how CPR is intermingled with AED use. Let's take a look. When a person is in cardiac arrest, use of an AED can help restore a normal heartbeat. If you are the only trained responder on the scene, Turn on the AED as soon as it is available and follow the voice prompts. Once the AED is turned on, remove all clothing covering the chest and wipe the chest dry if necessary. Using the appropriate sized pads, place one pad on the upper right side of the chest and the other on the lower left side of the chest below the armpit. Remember, you should not use the pediatric AED pads or key on anyone older than eight years or weighing more than 55 pounds. However, adult AED pads can be used on a child if pediatric AED pads are not available. If the pads touch, which is usually the case with small children and infants, place one pad in the middle of the chest and the other pad on the back between the shoulder blades. Plug the pad connector cable into the AED if necessary and prepare to let the AED analyze the heart's rhythm. Make sure no one, including you, is touching the person. Say clear. Clear. In a loud, commanding voice. Be ready to deliver a shock if the AED determines one is needed. To do this, make sure no one, including you, is touching the person. Again, say clear in a loud, commanding voice. Push the shock button to deliver the shock. After the AED delivers the shock, or if no shock is advised, immediately begin CPR starting with compressions. Continue giving CPR and following the AED's prompts until you see an obvious sign of life or EMS personnel arrive. If there are two or more responders, the steps will be slightly different. Responder 1 will continue CPR, while Responder 2 sets up the AED. When the AED prompts, analyzing heart rhythm, Responder 2 says, clear. Clear. Then the responders switch roles. Responder 1 will now operate the AED, and Responder 2 will now provide CPR. The responder should switch roles in this manner each time the AED analyzes the heart rhythm. Notice how CPR and AED use are working together as parts of the cardiac chain of survival. When CPR is not interrupted to prepare the AED, chances of survival are increased. All right, so there's a couple of fears I know that you're probably thinking, and the first one is probably, do I have to remove the clothing? And the answer is yes. Okay, now remember, um, you know, if this is a public place where there's other people, obviously this can be a little bit weird, but, but this is, again, this is, um, how do I say this? You're saving somebody's life, okay? So whether somebody has their, their chest exposed or not really is not an issue, okay? And if you are worried about that, then get someone else to clear the crowd. Okay, so if this happened in a school classroom, you would just empty the classroom um, and you would be with that person and, and it would be okay. Um, the second thing uh, really important is, is the stand clear piece. Okay, so anytime the AED is analyzing rhythms, if you're touching the patient, it potentially could pick up your heart rhythm. So when the device says stand clear, uh, you need to do that. Okay, but as soon as the shock is delivered, you can begin, and again, remember the cycles. We have 30 cycles of chest compressions, two breaths, 30, two, 32. Now, if the AED stays connected, which it will, um, it will tell you how to do that, and it will talk you through the compressions and the breaths, and it will also tell you when to stop for another shock to potentially be delivered. So uh, once the AED is connected, it literally will go on for five, 10, 15 minutes, and if you can continue to provide care with CPR and breathing, uh, you have a much better chance of the person surviving. Uh, and also know that the AED will not deliver a shock if a shock is not needed. So in some situations, maybe there's a, 
a real light heartbeat, um, the, the AED can sense that and it will not deliver. So uh, a couple of good things to know and uh, some really cool advantages to technology today related to an AED use that we didn't have uh, even probably 10 years ago. So pretty neat that we all have access to something like this. Uh, take advantage of it and don't be afraid of the AED device.